The needle exchange program is a harm reduction program. So what that means is that we try and reduce the damage that people are doing on themselves. And so the philosophy here is we know that these individuals are in the throes of addiction and we know that they're going to use, they're going to inject the drugs. So we want to provide them with the safest, least harmful way of uh, doing that. So if a patient comes in, uh, they're probably using the needles exchange and they have an infection or they're interested in detoxing off of the drug or they just have, are clueless about what the next process is because they're so entrenched in their addiction, they can come back and have a, you know, just chat with us about sort of doing some basic case managing, um, figuring out, help them sort of directing them what the uh, best uh, resources um, are for them to begin to sort of make some changes. Sometimes we just counsel people on what is the safest way to inject drugs. What is the way of injecting drugs so they least damage themselves. Uh, that's one of our most important things because the, all these abscesses are very expensive to take care of. We try and offload emergency rooms by taking care of these abscesses because these individuals are uninsured and we reduce the costs associated with the system by our streamlined operation. But we also don't want people getting abscesses, so we teach them to clean themselves. So we do, we act as urgent care here, and we act as uh, social workers, we act as a detox program, we run an overdose prevention program using a, we give them an injectable drug to reverse an overdose. So if one of their friends is, you know, basically going to die from overdosing, if they've done our program, they can have a vial to be able to save their life. My biggest reward here is breaking through an individuals, make, helping them make some realization about their lot in life. Uh, one of my most you know, dramatic experiences was as a resident at Harbor UCLA, I had a young girl, she was probably in her mid-twenties, and she had been injecting in her arms for years. <clears throat> she had these huge open wounds. She had injected so much, she had started injecting into the bones. The bones were infected. And she's also happened to be anorexic. And she ended up dying. And her story was so uh, impactful because she was lost. She was lost, but by, by the time she got into the hospital, she was lost. And here, we have opportunity to bring people back, you know, to help them realize there's some uh, opportunity and some hope for themselves. So that's what makes it rewarding.